не 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 we just got out of the much, 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 much anticipated on my end, Jurassic World Fallen oh, Kingdom. Kingdom. Also known as the movie that has broken the internet this week. Has it really? It really has, because you've got professional critics that are calling this either the best movie in the Jurassic Park franchise since the first one. I'm looking at you, Scott Mance. Or... You've got people that think this is the death of all cinema and we are all going to hell. Of course, there's always some people like that. I, I mean, I could I see mean, why some people honestly nitpick and and find something to bitch about because that's what America is today Yeah. in 2018. Nothing but <laughs> bitchers. This is a fun time. Honestly, the time moves by so quickly and it, it felt like a lost world to me, which to me, a lost world was my favorite Jurassic Park movie growing up as a kid. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why. It just was. Okay. Uh, cosmetically, yeah. it's different, but the bone structure is the same, and I really don't mind that. I really am a fan. Daniel. Same. <laughs> I, I dig it. My friend Casey Costley on Twitter, her headline for this video said, like, your expectations are set too high, and I think that's the problem with some people. I think there's still a nugget of Jurassic Park's one of the greatest movies of all time, and so this has to follow that up. Where I hated the Super Bowl trailer. I thought it was hilariously bad. I thought this was going to be a train wreck of just terrible stupidity. Shit, man. I remember I did the trailer reaction for the for the movie uh, in December whenever it came out. And I was like, I'm not excited for this movie. And after I started seeing more of the spoilerly trailer part, which unfortunately... I mean, you I see mean, the I, entire movie. I mean, you see the entire movie, but for me, as a general audience member you know the set the more spoily trailer drove me in and un it's unfortunate but you know it is what it is my expectations were set low but there's stuff in here that i really like primarily j.a bayona he's the director behind uh, the orphanage uh, monster calls and something else we saw monster calls last year and i thought the visuals in that were kind of cool even if the story didn't go anywhere from what I can tell, Jay Bayona didn't write this, Colin Trevorrow did. And so what Jay Bayona uses is a lot of like horror related imagery. There's a lot yeah, of man. deep dark caverns and things in the background. Oh, yeah. And there's some fun like little camera flips yeah. whenever you're following the character's point of view. It's in dark rooms with like low lighting, you know. And the lighting's lamps not stuff. bad. The That's lighting's really kind of cool. Oh, yeah. It, it, it looks gives like you a, a mystery type thing. It looks like a haunted house movie yeah, sometimes. Yeah, a mystery with a thrill and it's all that chunk. And this is probably the bloodiest one since the first movie. I mean, it's not saying a lot because the first Jurassic Park had better effects that made it look more... Uh, the textures made it look real. But I think what Bayonne understands is like when you keep the dinosaurs in the dark, they're really creepy. Oh, yeah. And you know, there are some things about this movie that are just incredibly stupid. But I genuinely think that's just the writing. The performances, you don't have a lot to work with. But I like Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt is his Chris Prattiest ever. And Liam predicted, because we did a worst predictions video for this, because we thought, yeah, link that down below. And believe me, you're going to see how close we got. But Liam's like, oh, I predict Chris Pratt's going to be like a real asshole in this one. I'm like, you know, Chris Pratt really wasn't. He was kind of just chilled out. A lot of it focused on his relationship with Blue, who of course is back. Goddamn, Blue. You're my boy, Blue! As many dumb directions as this went, there was a never a point where it like broke me. Some of the imagery, it, it, it's really stupid, yeah. but damned if Bayona doesn't put everything he has into those dumb images. I never thought this was a cynical movie. Time hasn't helped Jurassic World, I think. It's noticed a lot of the flaws in that movie. But with this one, I think I could get generally distracted by how the fluff on top of the story is different. And yeah. that kind of different is cool to me. I dragged my wife, and you said that the trailer was, like, so terrible that you didn't want to go. Was the movie better than the trailer? 
the movie wasn't as bad as I was expecting. I just want to know why they picked the worst part of the movie to put in the trailer. Yeah, so they don't spoil the good shit. Yeah. <laughs> there was it a made point. I not that, want to see the movie. I wouldn't have gone if you didn't drag me. I mean, I'm glad I went. It was at least funny. Did you like it? I enjoyed myself. Yeah. Okay. Would not you, for reasons they intended, I don't think. But would you call this a good movie? Half of the movie was good. The other half was equally as bad. Was it the former or the latter? It was kind of all over the place. Uh, spoiler alert. In lieu of a regular spoiler section, we're going to go through some of our predictions and some of the funnier parts of the movie and find out how close Liam and I got to actually predicting the movie. So if you don't want to know anything else except final thoughts and scores out of six stars, scroll to the time code right there. If not, let's do this. Liam and I made, I think, 36 actual predictions here. And just letting you all know, we counted halves too. We got 12 and a half out of 36 correct, which gives us a total of 35% accuracy. Not our best form, but we did predict some of the good ones, like the end of the movie, where after Chris Pratt and Blue save the day, he has to let Blue go on her own to face the world like Caesar and Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Holy shit. We also predicted that Jeff Goldblum was going to have a three minute long cameo. And that scene you see in the trailer where he's in the courtroom, that would be the only scene he's in. We're right on that. I said it was gonna be the last scene. I'm partially right. It's the last scene, but it's also in the very beginning. It's definitely sequel baiting Planet of the Dinosaurs. The movie ends with all the dinosaurs getting loose and now they get to run amok amongst the world and there are some governments that still have dinosaur embryos and they can use it for whatever purposes they have. We've got dinosaur abuse because, you know, you got to have your sad dinosaurs are being wrongfully tortured. Just like Lost World. We predicted that the black kid, Justice Smith, was going to be the orphan kid, but no, there's another orphan kid played by her. She was a little annoying in the beginning. She was really I'm, well. I'm, I'm tired of all these damn kids in my Jurassic Park movies. I am tired of them she too. Was at least not a dumb kid. Like, I mean, she knew something was up and she was getting to the bottom of it. You mean it. there was a kid in a Jurassic Park movie that knew a lot about dinosaurs? Wasn't it the second one too? Je uh, Jeff Goldblum's daughter? I, she, 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 she knew gymnastics. I didn't mind her too much at the end of the movie. I thought in the beginning she was kind of like, oh, I really don't want to see this kid right now. Just yeah. go back to the dinosaurs. Go back to the exploding island. Get out of the set of Night at the Museum and go to the dinosaurs. Oh, shit, right? Right? They said her grandfather is the one that's raising her, right? Because her mother died. And I'm like, ooh, take a shot. And then when the bad corporate asshole who looks like Sam Rockwell, discount Sam Rockwell. That's what I was thinking. He like smothers James Cromswell to kill him. I'm like, ooh, double orphaned. This leads into a spoiler that neither Liam and I... Look, Liam and I said some shit like, we're going to see a monkey riding a dinosaur. We're going to have uh, robot dinosaurs at the end. There's going to be like five or six regular dinosaurs that team up with Chris Pratt to go fight a team <laughs> of equally evil dinosaurs made by man. But as stupid as we got, we did not expect the twist of the movie to be that the little girl is not the granddaughter of James Cromswell, but a clone of his dead daughter. They bring this up, never mention it again. It's legitimately in one sentence, and then they're interrupted by the Indoraptor. I mean, they kind of did, not necessarily hint at it the entire movie, but skirting around the topic of her parents to something's up with this little girl. Credit to the little girl. She acts her ass off in that scene. She's horrified of this news. Like this Sonic Adventure 2 bullshit. She is genuinely shocked. But then the plot comes back in and it just pushes that to the side completely. Well, do you cry about not being real or do you run because a hybrid dinosaur is trying to eat you? I'm yeah, just saying. I, I think I'd, I'd, I'd cry. Some of the things that I thought were really, really funny, 
Talking about Jay Bayona putting some stupid imagery in here and doing the most with it, there's a scene where Blue and the Indoraptor are fighting each other on the roof, and then they crash through, and it's like this slow-mo, like, John Woo style, like, punching each other so the Indoraptor can get impaled on some Triceratops horns. I thought that was funny. That was the first time slow-mo's ever been used in the Jurassic movie. Oh, and Blue pulls a Steven Seagal. Because she's like eating some dude while Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard escape. And then Blue looks and notices that the fucking like gas is about to explode in the room. So she like takes off running and dives through a window, man. It was the kids, not, not Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard. Oh, was it the kids that were running yeah, away? Oh, okay. It was the feminist and the black dude. Oh, and speaking of explosions, that part where Chris Pratt is about to be eaten by that one dinosaur when they're running away from the lava, and the fucking T-Rex comes out of nowhere and, like, bites that asshole, because, you know, when you're running for your life, you gotta stop and get some, like, Whataburger, you know? Mm -hmm. She bites it and then kills it, and she stands over and goes like, Rah! while the fucking lava explodes in the background, and I'm like, that's a screensaver. Mm -hmm. There's that part that's supposed to make all of you cry, but it just made me fucking laugh. They were leaving the island, and then there was that one dinosaur that's like, and then the lava slowly envelops it, and I was like, so you engulfed in lava. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they fucking get the sexy cry out of blue. The sexy cry. The one tear down your cheek and it's supposed to make you feel because she's trying to be tough. But it still got out. And we had Brittany fact check this. We found out birds do not have tear ducts. Some reptiles do. Is that what you found out? Yeah, but they apparently don't cry out of emotion. It's just to lubricate their eyeballs. Okie dokie. Right. So, for lubrication purposes. Some quick things that I actually predicted correctly. I said the dinosaurs were going to make it to either L.A. or Northern California. It's Northern California. It's weird, though, that you would build, like, this crazy dinosaur facility on top of your mansion and have your kid in there. Like, how did you get all that shit underground without James Cromswell knowing at least a little bit about it? I'm sure he did. Yeah, I'm sure he did. Bryce Dallas Howard is a government lobbyist for... The freedom of dinosaurs, when honestly you were chased by a bunch of them, you should probably just let them leave them alone, and let them die naturally, because that's the way the last movie ended, was just let nature take its course. Dumbasses. Oh, and something that Liam got that I was actually kind of impressed, all the product placement in this movie was placed in the first 30 to 45 minutes. There was the Beck beer, at the bar, obviously. You still never heard and of And then, uh, the first time you see a dinosaur in Jurassic Park is, like, the brontosaurus, right? And that's the thing that dies at the end of, uh, the island birding. It's like the brontosaurus. So, as the movie metaphorically kills your childhood, you see an advertisement for John Deere and Bryce Dallas Howard's fucking head. The score I really like, the only problem I've got with it is, like, it seems to be, like, Super important. We've got to be bass booming. We've got trumpets and horns in the background in every talking scene. Like, it seemed like the score was kind of superimposed over scenes that I thought should have just been quieter or left alone. Maybe the theater was kind of based really high, and we did have a Jurassic World screening next to us, so maybe that was kind of bleeding over. I just felt like the movie was really loud in parts it, it, that it. It was didn't very. Say. It was very like. You could hear like the rattling of the ACs like during like when they're on the island when the volcano's erupted. And I, I I assumed it was just like the uh, bass from the volcano. I also felt like some of the sound mixing was weird in this too. Like when Bryce Dallas Howard gets out of the plane to get on the island, you can clearly hear like a dunk 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 of like her feet clomping on the on the steps and I was like that's kind of pronounced for something like this I don't know a lot of this movie was it was bolder than the first one it was brash it was loud it was dumber it was more like in your face if you like your dinosaur movies dumb and actiony and crazy I think you'll like it if oh, you yeah. want a legit sequel to Jurassic Park just accept that this will never happen and you're gonna get your stupid Dinobots movie eventually god damn it 
I want my Dinobots movie. You don't fucking understand. If in the third one, I don't get like some robot laser shit, I'm gonna be super pissed. Freaking laser beams. On top of the freaking heads. Welcome to Final Thoughts. Scores out of six stars for Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. I'm gonna go, fuck it, I'll go first. When I think about this movie, I'm gonna think about the parts that I like, and I think I like it a little more than Jurassic World. I think I give Jurassic World four and a half. I probably shouldn't have. It's probably more of a three and a half movie. So this one's gonna be a four. There's a lot of dumb shit in this movie, but it's the kind of dumb shit that makes me laugh. And I genuinely like some of the horror atmosphere. I like the action scenes. Performances are fine. I like the dinosaurs as usual. There are a little bit more practical effects than I thought were gonna be in here too. And I was actually impressed by that. So yeah, had a good old fashioned stupid time. Brittany. Three. You didn't yeah. like it? I liked it as equally as much as I disliked it. So it's not for you, but you can understand why people would like it. Yeah. Okay. It felt like it had the same structure as Lost World, but just with different cosmetics. And I really did enjoy it, and I thought the horror aspects of this movie were very great. Because I don't feel like it actually was taking it to that kind of height in the previous installments of this franchise right so I really enjoyed it and I really felt like a fresh of breath there even though it, it w did have a similar structure to a lost world with that I'm gonna go ahead and give it a four and a half out of six stars fuck math I'm changing my score to a five <laughs> just, okay just so we can get an HK burger of a four out of six hey look at that so if you like this video like it subscribe if you don't like it, dislike it, tell us we're full of shit. And then we've got Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. As far as next movies, we've got, I've got a screening to go see Sicario Deo the Soldado, cool. which is getting surprisingly decent reviews. If you want us to do more like predicting what the movie's gonna be like, uh, let us know some movies in below that you're like looking at the trailer like, okay, you guys could predict the hell out of this, try it. Predator. Maybe. Yeah, Let's I'm down with that. I think we have a couple in mind. I'm thinking of doing a What's Your Point episode on the new AMC... Uh, movie Pass thing? Yeah, the AMC's answer to Movie Pass. I'm kind of interested by this one game. a month. Yeah. I wonder if there's any different perks to it. There are different things. I'll talk about that in the What's Your Point. It might be a solo editorial. Daniel, I can't thing. wait. I can't wait for you to make this video and for it to be up the next day. So, subscribe so that so, and figure it so out. So make sure you subscribe to, and press the little bell icon to stay notified to get that video whenever it comes out. We've gotten like an influx of a couple new subscribers. Thank y'all for that too. We really appreciate that. It's been and, real uh, nice growing. Yeah. I want to grow some more. Feed me. I'm hungry. I'm fat. I want more. Bye guys. Love you guys.